Hey everybody and welcome back. My name is Tsuki and this is Night in the Woods. I almost said Night in the Wind. Okay, so, uh, last time we hang out with Mong, Mong? Mom. We explored the rooftops a little bit and uh, we had to make a decision. And um, as you can probably tell by where I'm standing right now, I want to hang out with Bia. Let's go. Did you want to check out the graveyard? Actually, yeah, let's do it. It's not that I have a preference for Bia over Angus. Ugh, Angus. Greg. I like Greg a lot. He's insane. But, uh... I think we need some more effort with, with Bia. Just to ensure things are cemented over. A foggy. Always got that evening fall fog. Collects between the ridges. It's spooky. I don't know. Good spooky. I get really sad because it's not here ye not here year round. Well, there's the statue. Ooh, also spooky. I thought you were like actually kind of afraid. I mean, I am but like whatever so we wait here yeah and the ghost shows up this isn't dumb don't act like this is dumb hey I'm along for the ride know any ghost stories not off the top of my head okay what's scary uh, things are like monumentally screwed right now and no one in power gives a shit or they're actively making it worse out of spite or profit whoa jeez I meant like a skeleton or something oh right sorry okay 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 we'll have a spook off I say something and you make it spookier alright how about this a skeleton outside your window. I think in your hallway is worse. A regular stranger dude in your hallway at night. And he's got a knife. And he's a pharma <laughs> pharmaceutical CEO. What? <laughs> and he jacked up the price of meds that keep people from dying. Um, and he's a skeleton. Oh yeah, skeleton CEO with a knife. All the things you're afraid of are boring. The scariest stuff is like really, really boring. Oh my god, Beatrice. What were we supposed to be doing? Watching a statue or something. This is dumb, let's go. Okay, so I'm gonna go visit my mom. She's right down here. Oh, okay. Give me a minute or two, okay? Totally no problem. Sorry. Sorry about what? But your mom and all. It's okay. It happens. Cool, cool, cool. I'll check out some graves. Alrighty. I took a class on death and dying. When I couldn't get into the dinosaur class back at school. It's like something I actually know about. Cool, I'll meet you back up here then. Let's check out a grave or three. Oh, are we going to see the the mark on the guy's arm? Hmm, standard headstone, nothing fancy. Clearly religious. 95 years wow when she was born the most high-tech thing was horses she had to like look out the window to see a horse and now we have like pictures of horses on the internet like any horse you can think of she saw us from horses to internet horses decent run catherine fish Second by flu. 14, jeez. There's like 14 years. 
Poor family. Now I'm just sad. There's probably one more. No, this one? Rat poison. A bicycle. Nothing else on here. Ooh, fancy. This guy was a fancy guy. Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna guess. He loved his bike. He loved it so hard. He smooched it. So right. Jeez, beer. How long does a mom visit take? TikTok, Beatrice, we've got places to be. Holy crap, I'm a jerk. Yeah, you kind of are. We're supposed to head back over this way then. Now I'm gonna see somebody up there, right? Typical game trope? No? Okay. Oh, God. Hey. Uh, how'd it go? It's fine. She's still there. Were you worried that... You know we've been having sinkhole problems in town? Yes. That's what was wrong with your street. Anyway, my mom's buried in a pretty low spot. Couldn't afford the hill. So I was worried. Like you're worried the ground just gonna like cave in? What part of sinkhole is difficult to understand? We're in a graveyard. They shouldn't make these where sinkholes are a problem. Yeah, and they shouldn't build towns that flood. And yet here we are. Okay, you ready? You know, when I was down there, I think I heard music from the top of the hill. And like, voices. Huh. That's, uh, spooky. Yeah, not sure what's going on up there. Let's go find out. You coming? Oh yeah, sure. Cool. That transition was kind of cool. <laughs> B has not a jumper. Oh. Here we're getting into some of my... Um... The fuck? Oh, weary travelers, you seek answers among the dead, but they shall give you none. Who the hell are you? Mere messengers, observers, meddlers, teens, they're weird teens. Oh. Alright, well, we are the keepers of the gate. There's a literal gate you are sitting in front of. We govern who shall pass, and who shall remain. Alright, well, answer us these questions three. No, oh, okay. Answer us these questions truthfully, and you can touch my peepee. -pee. What? And you may pass into the realms of the dead. Okay, okay, fine, whatever. Get on with it. First question. Have you ever done it? You can just call it sex. <laughs> We're grown-ups here. Well, we are at least. Answer! I don't think May would've... She's kind of too sweet and innocent to... Like, have done that. Never got around to it. And you? Yeah. What? When? Summer before 11th grade. That means you were 17 or 16, which is fine. Really? How did I not know this? This was when you weren't talking to me. Who? Who did this happen with? Ugh, you don't know him. It was at math camp. Math camp? <laughs> what is math camp? <laughs> you go and do like math stuff. And camp stuff. And apparently have lots of sex. <laughs> It wasn't good. Yeah, when you're that young, it really isn't. Not that I'm talking from experience, or maybe I am. Wink, wink. Top-notch math, though. <laughs> this is boring. Next question. Jeez, fine. Describe your dream date. These are stupid. These are the stupidest questions. 
Yeah, don't you want to ask something like spooky at least? Dream date! Okay, fine. Uh, he'd be tall, dress cool, really smart, likes good music. And we go to the movies. Boring. You? Wrestling. Like you're gonna wrestle or you're gonna like watch wrestling? I could wrestle. I don't care if it's a guy or a girl. But they'd have to be like, grr. Because I don't even want to date someone who's not grr. <laughs> so you're gonna wrestle this person. Yeah, they'd be super tough and cool. And we'd be all tired and dirty and bleeding. And then we'd like lay on the floor and tell each other secrets. That's actually really sweet. And that's kind of like what May and Greg did the other day. We fucking cut each other's knuckles up and then told each other like problems I guess what do you want from me next question what is your most embarrassing experience what just go with it answer one time I farted in front of the class ha <laughs> that's it what were you expecting okay that sucked now you go uh oh god One time in college, high school, junior high. Maybe she's going to tell about the softball incident. One time in high school, one time in college. We haven't really heard about something she did in college, but let's hear about the junior high one. I, oh God, tell. I just started getting my period and I bled on the chair in science class. Oh god. Oh god. And I got up at the end of class and ran. <laughs> oh no. And this kid came in and sat in the chair. Oh no. And later I walked by the nurse office. And the kid was sitting in there with blood on his butt. And the nurse was calling his mom and... <laughs> He looked at me as I went past, and I think he knew. <laughs> okay, that was pretty messed up. <laughs> you have come to face to face with your lowest moment. You may pass unburdened. Unburdened? Yeah, for real. Okay, let us pass already. The power to pass was in your hands all along. What? What the f in hell? You may go. God damn it. Go to hell, teens. Ha ha ha. Ha ha. I hate everything right now. Forget it, let's go. Interesting, I guess. They're just kind of sitting there. Where the hell are we going? So, like, ghosts. Ghosts? Like, I don't know if I believe in them, but... Yeah? So, you know how you said you've been seeing ghosts at night? I mean, I don't super believe it's not just dreams, because obviously it's dreams. Okay, that's certainly your take on it. But, like, did you ever see my mom? No. I mean, I can't really tell. And I don't think the ghosts were, like, people. Like, they're not sitting around being ghosts. It's more like echoes. Echoes of shit that happened and people that were here. Oh. Uh, trust me, none of the places looked like super much fun. Your mom was rad as hell. Too rad to hang there. Haha, <laughs> that's like... I appreciate you trying to turn this around. I'm doing my best, Beatrice. Alright, anyway. So the bad news is that we're locked out. By that big ass gate. Uh, why make a giant gate in the graveyard? Um, to keep people like you out. And stop what you're probably gonna do. Mm, yeah, we'll never know for sure. Alright, well, I'm not climbing it. Go do your thing. My thing? You're good at this kind of thing. Brute force and shit. Jeez, gotta do everything around here. It's your ghost, I'm just the driver. Fine, hang out, I'll be back.
Okay, so this is a one, two, three. Whoop. And over. We're gonna come back, obviously. There's no way I'm going to leave Bea behind. Ugh, Beatrice, just learn to jump. Not with those scrawny legs, I guess. How do I break up that gate open? Hello. Should I push the tree against it? Should I be jumping on the... Nope. Yeah, up here. Me and Greg trained for this. Ow. Uh, I sure hope nobody saw that. We're gonna get sued. I don't think anyone's back here, and it's getting late. Mm -hmm. You're welcome, by the way. Yeah, see, I told you you're good at this. My back hurts. <laughs> so, what do we need to do? Uh, I'm gonna go find little Joe's grave, and if he doesn't show up, I'm gonna knock on it until he does. You're not allowed to destroy anything, way. Okay, fine, whatever, let's go. I already destroyed the gate, beer. You're not my mom. Jeez. Joe Shade. Yeah, this is him. Ground here is all swampy. Ugh, gross. So, what do we do here? Um, I guess I'm just gonna look around for ghosts. Ugh, don't make this a thing. It's not a thing, it's cool. May, I'm here for you right now. Sorry, you had a tone. Tone stowed. Thank you. Any ghosts over there? No, Bia. You'd know. I'd say. Haha, <laughs> okay, okay. I found some old stuff. What kind of old stuff? Graves? Wow. This grave is for a horse, I think. I don't think they ever buried the horses in people's graves. Imagine the big horse-sized coffin. Imagine. I'm probably going nowhere. Yeah. Okay, so this was an interesting venture so far. I guess. This is stupid. What were you expecting? Something. It's just stupid. He didn't pop out of the ground or anything. Is... Is that what you were expecting to happen? This is stupid. I'm gonna smash his shit up. Uh, whoa, dude, hold up, no. Wakey, wakey, little Joe! Should I jump on his... Okay, that didn't sound right. Oh, God! Holy shit. Holy shit. What did you do? You were right. About what? I didn't tell you to do that. About the sinkholes. We're lucky it wasn't deeper. Wait, is that... Yeah, that's a coffin. Oh, crap. So, we're gonna open it, right? No, we're not going to open a coffin. With a rotting corpse in it. But yeah, it's been a long time. Yeah, how long does the wood last? BTW. He's not rotting anymore. <laughs> Jeez, God, we are not doing this. We are leaving. Aren't you kind of curious at least? Yeah. <laughs> okay, let's do this. You're doing it. I'm standing here. Okay. 
Okay. I'll count to three. Okay. One. Two. Three. Why are you shaking me? Stop shaking. Grab it. Grab it. Ooh. There's like an ear. Oh, God. Ah. <laughs> so, what? Foul play? Who knows? <laughs> We're detectives. We're not. We're like criminal <laughs> vandals. Or like grave robbers or something. Those two. We're a lot of things right now. Shh. What? So there's someone back there watching us. Oh, God. I don't know where they went. Just like out of the corner of my eye. Is it? I don't know, but we need to leave now. It could be the ghost. No, we're gone. Now. Okay, fine. Jeez. Wow, Pia's <laughs> actually running. <gasps> it's him! Or the figure. <laughs> Pia's actually like scared. <laughs> Her eyes went all wide and she was running. Well, that was weird, huh? Weird? That was not weird. That was a crime. Did you see the ghost? He was there. I didn't know the ghost is a dude. Okay, fine, but he was there. My it was the groundskeeper or something. Investigating who was ruining his graveyard. How do you know the groundskeeper is a dude? Oh, shut up. Ah, I saw the effing ghost. We saw someone. There are other people in the graveyard, you know? Ugh, whatever. We're leaving before the cops get here. Well, we did see the dude. Whomever the dude was. Hey, Dad. Hey. Uh, you okay? Yeah, weird night. <laughs> You look really worn out. Yeah. Jeez, I'm sore tonight. Need a back brace or something. How do you do it? Do what? Always running and jumping all around all crazy. I don't know. I mean, I'm really out of shape. I don't think I've ever been in shape. I used to be, but that was because of my job. New job don't require much like that. Yeah. Heard you and your mom went an adventure today. Went an adventure today. Haha, <laughs> yeah. She talked about it all through dinner. You should, you know, be home for dinner sometime. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Okay, go to bed. Will do. So, is mom here? But then she just... We also never eat, by the way. But anyway. Is she just, like, in bed? Where Where is their bedroom? Is this their bedroom? If so, where's the bathroom? Is this the bathroom? Definitely not. Let's check in with the crew. Rising sea levels will increase shark attack frequency. <laughs> hey, B.I. you awake? I very much am. Doing bills and eating a grilled cheese. What's up? Hey, sorry, I kind of wrecked the cemetery. <laughs> I know that's not something you'd normally want to do. It's okay, I know you didn't mean to. I mean, what's a grave defilement or two? How about that ghost, though? May, seriously, it was the groundskeeper. <laughs> I thought you believed in ghosts. I do. Kind of. I think. Why couldn't that have been a ghost? I just don't assume every person is a ghost. Everyone could be a ghost. Am I a ghost, May? Oh, you'd like that, wouldn't you? <laughs> just haunting me forever. I'd make you learn how to drive at the very <laughs> least. But anyway, how could you even make him out anyway? It was so foggy. I could tell, okay? I could feel it. Honestly, we're lucky it was so foggy. Or he'd be able to identify us to the police. Ah, fine, whatever. I'm sorry I made you mad. It's fine, it's fine. Thanks for going with me. I drove, you came with me. Okay, thanks for going. You're welcome. Get some sleep, you need it. I so do. Night, dude. Good night. 
Hey, hey, hey. Yo, yo, yo. Dude. Hey, hey, hey. How was your spooky night? Dude, we went to the cemetery. And we accidentally, like, opened a coffin. It was totally like the corpse of the ghost. Or, you know what I mean. Whoa! And it was like effing nuts, man. Did you see your ghost? I totally did. Must be on the right track. Dude was probably pissed that you messed with his grave. Oh, <laughs> you're right. Whatever. Okay, I'm going to bed. Good job on, like, all of that. You know it, dude. Good night as hell, bruh. Good night as F. Hi. This dude is still gone. A little bit of a shorter episode. But I, I think this is an ideal cutoff point. Anyway, guys, I appreciate a like. I appreciate a comment. I would appreciate it even more, though, if you would tap that sub button. Most of all, I appreciate you guys being here, watching the series. I've got other stuff as well, by the way. And, of course, supporting the channel. Thanks for hanging out, guys. I'll see you in the next one. Thank <laughs> you.